you guys know I love experiments. I love violence. So I decided, let me try using Raven and EPI, and I should be able to beat this boss. And theoretically, yes, you should be able to beat this boss. But one thing that you usually can't plan for is like missing CIs and stuff like that because your game freezes. So I see, I know, I have that conscious thought in my mind that yes, this game is definitely going to freeze at some point. It happens. But most times I just hope that okay, maybe it doesn't happen within the first minute. But at the end of the day, for someone like me, that's wishful thinking. So is this possible? Yes, it's definitely possible. Um, I've seen someone talk about using uh, Girl of Steel as the third member of the EPI team because it's apparently it's supposed to help reduce the amount of damage you're taking, but I don't think that actually works because I actually tried Girl of Steel with Beast Boy and she didn't reduce anything. Like I had the solar energy and everything and nothing was reduced. So yeah, if you really want to make that API team work, uh, if you're lucky enough to have stuff like Soul of Sin or Soul of Salvation, I think those would be more important. And of course, you have to go in with Perfect CI. There's no question about that. Perfect CI is important. So if you know you cannot CI perfectly or you can do it, but your device won't let you uh, or you don't like, you just know you have things against you, then what I would advise is that you don't use uh, Raven. I know it's, it's crazy. What, what do I do with my Raven and uh, EPI? Well, I would suggest you use your Raven and EPI to play if you can. Because I can see this team going far. In the past, I've used this team before. I probably, I think I have a video of it on my channel. The last time, or the, the last time this solo raid was around, I don't think I actually played. Or the last before that, I think, yes, I played with, uh, I played against this boss and I used EPI and Raven. So it's definitely possible, but uh, yeah, you need to play perfectly. You need to play your CI perfectly. With this boy, I don't know what I was expecting to do, but <laughs> I just got this straight. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this was fun anyway, guys. See, this thing can get annoying, I understand. Especially, especially when you're so used to one-shotting and you've probably seen your friends or seen videos online of people just one-shotting these bosses. It can get really frustrating for you, trust me. It got frustrating for me, but yeah, just you just have to accept what you have. Either you are stuck with low artifacts or you have good enough artifacts, but your device won't let you perform the way you want to perform because of game freezes. Or you have all these things in place, but you just haven't lands the proper mechanic like stuff like uh, combo interrupts and taggings and stuff like that so there's always going to be something for most people that draws them back uh, so, but anyways dark side freaking annoying so i decided to like because normally i would use this team this about woman the drown team i would normally save this team for um uh, mr captain code yeah captain code so captain code I'm sure you guys have seen it's immune to DOT, so you can't use EPI or use uh, Mortal Kombat team against Captain Code. So the best team you can use against Captain Code is right here. This is Batwoman the Drown team. But at this point, I was so pissed off. I was so frustrated. I was like, you know what, to hell with it. I know that a lot of people have told me that this team doesn't work properly, but I said, okay, instead of using just two characters, which is Batwoman the Drown and Robin King, let me use three characters and add Batman Who Laughs. So Batman Who Laughs will help me do health reduction, which of course helps with damage. And Batman Who Laughs can help you get drowned. Uh, not get drowned. Help you get drowning uh, activated. If you use something like, um, what's his name? Batman. Arkham Knight, Bat Arkham Knight Batman. Or you use John Stewart Green Lantern. Well, the issue with that is, yeah, you, if you try to kill them off, you take too much damage and you could lose your team. And if you try not to kill them off, you'll be wasting a lot of time. But if you use Batman Who Laughs, Batman Who Laughs can do damage on its own and it can help trigger flooding as well. So Batman Who Laughs, when he's tagging, is, uh, he has value to the team. So, yeah. So this team is still reliant on some level of luck, but I think for clearance of this boss... I would suggest go with this team. That's just my own take on it. I think this team is even better for clearance than uh, EPI. So you can see that if not that I'm taking a huge, you see I'm taking a huge amount of damage, but my God Killer is helping me. So that's another thing that I would suggest to you guys that make sure, please, whatever you're using here, make sure you have God Killer. Or those are free to play, of course. Those are not free to play. We know Beta Club can one shot this boss. So yeah, we know that. But for those that are free to play, uh, God Killer is going to help you a lot in this match because you're not just protecting the character with God Killer, you're also protecting your teammates since he does splash damage and he does a huge amount of attack. So yeah, this team definitely can one shot. 
uh, if I were a bit more lucky, or maybe probably if I play a little bit better, if I say I missed some CIs, it's the same issue. I, my game was uh, freezing, skipping. So, yeah, it's not easy to really play with this freezing thing. I do my best most times, but sometimes my best is just not enough. When your phone decides to like jitter and all that, you're going to miss your CI, guaranteed. So, yeah, this team definitely can one-shot, but I wouldn't say go for a one-shot with this team. I would say if you are using this team, use them as a cleanup. Use head reduction, any head reduction combination you have. Use that first, then use this team as a second team so that you know you won't use more than two pips. If you are pretty confident, yeah, your device, you can see eye, your device doesn't give you any issues, you have good connection, uh, you have good proper build and decent level artifacts, I would say yes, you can go for this team. This team can one shot for you, but woman around the full metal team can one shot. You play carefully, you play smart, you can one shot. But if you don't want to take any risk, you have one mitigating issue or the other, then just use um, any health reduction team first, then use Batuma the Drown to clear up. So you see that I've already used Batuma the Drown to clear, to, to do most of the damage, very little amount of damage left, and I don't have, uh, I, it's not I don't have, I can't use, that's the right way to say it, I can't use health reduction at this point, it's useless to use health reduction at this point. So I decided to use Harambe. Uh, it's been so long since I've used Harambe, guys. I've not used uh, Batman Ninja Harambe for a very, very, very long time. And the normal way I play is that I do uh, specials, I do a jump attack, I do some basics, do some specials. But I didn't want to take the risk of this boss doing super move and destroying Harambe. So I decided that I will just change my style and just spam special one. But with Harambe, you can't spam special one continuously. You have to wait for the boss to stand up. You have, this thing requires a lot of timing. But you have to wait for the boss to actually stand up before you hit special one again. As you can see what I was doing this match. You won't do as much damage, but it's definitely enough to clear the little amount of health that will be left. Another thing you could do is that before the boss gets to a super move, do a bunch of basic attacks. What that will do is reduce the boss's damage. So that even if it does super move, you will still survive and you can continue playing without issue. I didn't. I knew of that, but I knew that I had not done enough basic attacks uh, because of the way his passive works now, I didn't do enough basic attack. I should have done that. I should have done enough basic attacks. They allow him to do his special. To, by doing your own basic attacks, you are reducing uh, dark size damage, and your Harambe should be able to survive that. Uh, Another thing was that I was having a bit of PTSD. I didn't want to spend a third peep on this match because I couldn't think of a third team that could easily clean this without having issues. So I was like, okay, I don't want to take any risk. This boss is not going to do his super move, and I'll just time my special one. When you stand up, do your special one. When you stand up, you have to be very careful. Any little miss, you are in trouble. Anyways, guys, that's about it for the video. Uh, I hope you guys can do much better than I did. If you enjoyed my video, smash the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one.